I'm Anastasia Chaska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia's 12 Days of Christmas. December 1st through the 12th, I will be putting out a new tutorial every single day. All of these tutorials are going to be about creating gifts that you can give this holiday. These are gonna be super easy DIY gifts that you can make right at home. There's nothing better than getting and receiving DIY holiday gifts. Speaking of gifts, I am giving away a sewing machine this holiday. I'm giving away this brand new, beautiful Husqvarna Viking Jade 20 sewing machine. All you have to do is enter the giveaway and the link is down below in the description with all of the details. This contest starts December 5th and goes through December 15th and I will be picking a winner on December 20th. So tell all your friends and family and make sure you get your entries in. I cannot wait to read your post on what inspires you to sew. It is super easy to enter and how amazing would it be to win a new sewing machine for Christmas or you could even give it as a gift. And don't forget, all of the details are down below in the description for how to enter. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach virtual lessons as well, so make sure you check those out at SewAnastasia.com. Today, it's all about coasters. You know, the little things that you put your glass on on the table so you don't get a water ring on your wood table. Don't want to ruin your nice furniture. So I highly suggest you make some awesome DIY coasters. I have a handful of inspiration ones and I'm also gonna go over how to make this super cute heart one out of vinyl. So we're gonna make the heart coaster, but there are so many other options when you're creating coasters and they don't all have to look like quilting scraps, which I feel like a lot of DIY coasters do. So we came up with some new ideas. We love the idea of taking a piece of leather and cutting out a unique shape. And to make this even a little more interesting, we put some grommets in it. Imagine the possibilities with leather. Also, you can embroider a coaster. We embroidered this one and designed it. Imagine you have a book club and everyone's coming over to your house. You could embroider them all custom coasters. These also make a great gift. This coaster is an embroidered beetle on some vinyl. This one has such fun colors and detail and I love that it's on the vinyl. And we also put a fabric backing on it and then we serge the edges together. This one is a heart coaster made out of two layers of vinyl with a cute little bow on the end. This one here is my favorite. I just love hearts and bows, what can I say? So this one is super easy to make and I'm gonna go over it step by step. Now that you've seen some inspiration, let's go ahead and make the vinyl coaster. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need some scrap clear vinyl. You're going to need some contrasting thread. I'm using a heavy top stitching thread. You're going to need your rotary cutter. You're also going to need a heart pattern. If you don't have one or you're having a hard time creating a heart, go ahead and download it from my website. The first thing we're gonna do is cut the heart out. I'm going to take a piece of vinyl and put two layers together so that way I can cut them out perfectly at the same time. I have two layers of vinyl laid out and I have my pattern on top. I'm going to weight it and then I'm going to use my rotary cutter to carefully cut around the outside. Be careful when you get to the tip of the heart here that you don't go too far into the vinyl from the other way. And now we have two perfect hearts on top of each other. Now we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and do a top stitch all the way around this heart. And don't forget to get your Teflon foot so that way it'll glide nice and smooth over the vinyl. If you need tips on sewing vinyl, make sure you check out my video on that. There'll be a link down below. So I'm gonna do a top stitch a quarter inch from the edge all the way around the heart. And then after, we'll put a little bow on it. I have my Teflon put on and I'm all ready to go. Take your time as you work your way around the curve. When you get to 
the center of the heart. Make sure your needle's in. Lift up your foot and turn. And we're actually gonna go one more stitch. Okay, turn. Back stitch at the end and cut. This coaster is so cute. I love it so much. All I need to do is trim my threads and add my bow. The threads are cut and it is looking wonderful. Let's attach the bow. I'm going to put a little bit of fabric tack right at the tip. And then we are going to position our bow perfectly in the center. So cute. And we're gonna let that dry for a while and then we'll be ready to use. Look how cute these two coasters look together. Imagine creating a whole set of these for your friends for gifts for holiday. Another really cool thing you can do with the clear vinyl coasters is you could put an image, an actual picture, or a clipping from a magazine. People still read magazines? I don't know. But you could put it in between the two layers and it's gonna act like a little picture frame. So cool. I hope you enjoyed making heart coasters with me today. And I also hope you were inspired by all the other designs that I showed off earlier. If you have any questions about making coasters, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and leave a comment down below. Which coaster was your favorite? I would love to know. And if you make any coasters, make sure you tag me at Zoe Anastasia so that way I can repost them and share your creativity and keep everyone inspired. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and YouTube so that way we can stay connected and inspired. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.